Pulaski County welcomes a new county administrator during a special Board of Supervisors meeting. Current Grayson County Administrator Jonathan Sweet will make the move to Pulaski in just a few months. This announcement comes just one day after the federal government designated the county as a high-intensity drug trafficking area. WSLSN's Bethany Teague has more on how the new administrator plans to make a difference. I'm so excited to work with each one of you uh, individually and collectively. After months of searching, Pulaski County now has a new administrator. Pulaski is a community that I think has a tremendous amount of potential. Jonathan Sweet will soon leave his post as Grayson County Administrator to replace Pete Huber, who will retire in December after more than 30 years of service. And at this time, the Board of Supervisors. Will this run. announcement comes on the heels of different, less celebrated news. Senators Mark Warner and Tim Kaine announced Thursday that Pulaski County is now considered a high intensity drug trafficking area. If it's a community problem, the community needs to address it as a community. While the designation indicates a serious problem, it also means the county will now receive federal resources to help solve it. This is a familiar road for Sweet as Grayson County got the same designation and help earlier this year. Some of the strategies that come to mind uh, are uh, family-focused initiatives, uh, parenting initiatives. It's a much more cost-effective approach to apply prevention strategies. This also comes just weeks after Nordson decided to leave the town of Pulaski, taking nearly 150 jobs with it. Sweet says there is still good economic momentum and potential here, and jobs will be a top priority. Economic development is going to be a priority. Community development is going to be a priority. Workforce development is going to be a priority. Partnerships are going to be a priority. Sweet will officially take office January 16th. In Pulaski, Bethany Teague, WSLS 10.